Is that a hair? These noodles just kind of no taste way. like... What's up guys? So in today's video, I am back with another worst reviewed video and today we are going to be doing the worst reviewed restaurant. So I've been searching for a Yelp restaurant for such a while now. I've been wanting to do this video for like the last month and I finally found one that I think is disgusting and I'm really excited to go and visit it. So the place that we're going to be going today is called Payway, which I'm actually excited to go to because I had a bunch of friends that used to eat here all the time like when we were younger, but I've never been here before so it's going to be my first time trying it. I'm a little nervous because a lot of the reviews are really, really bad, but there is some like you know decent reviews the first review is pretty recent about a month ago and it says dude what happened to this place this used to be one of my favorite restaurants tonight was horrid someone put dirty silverware in a clean holder three of our five entrees were wrong one of our entrees came out 15 minutes later than the rest $50 later and the food was barely average and the manager told them that things are just off tonight so that's the first um, review. Another recent one, um, which is literally like a week ago, they said this and it says, everything is dirty, utensils, tables, and entrance to the bathroom um, is covered in grime on both sides. So when I was looking at a bunch of different payways like in my area, um, I thought it was just this particular one was a really bad rating, but all of them have the exact same rating and they all have a bunch of bad reviews. So it's not just the location that I'm going to be going to. So I'm really interested to see like, if this place is as bad as everyone else is saying. Okay, you guys, so this is the review that I'm about to read you that sold me on the place, and this is what made me literally wanna go here so bad. I don't know why I feel like normally if you would read a review like this, you would not go to this place, but like I am so excited to go to this place for this review, and it says, I am absolutely disgusted. I buy a freaking salad in 15 minutes of bringing it home. I open to find a cockroach alive and crawling around. What kind of restaurant is this? I'm disgusted. I saw that as I almost nearly started eating, and I. I immediately ran to throw up. I was so excited to have this salad because of a friend that had gotten this and now this. I suggest to everyone to not go to this restaurant and there is a freaking cockroach in her salad. Like 100% like that is a cockroach. Like it is a bug. Like 100% like that is a cockroach. She even circled it and drew an arrow to it so you guys would see if you like would miss it but like the cockroach is there so basically what i'm gathering from this it's just dirty there's not a bunch of like silverware and forks and all that stuff that's clean there was a complaint that i saw about the bathrooms kind of being dirty hey <laughs> very very dirty just everything's dirty and then also a lot of the complaints is that it takes super super long for food to come out i worked at a restaurant for two years and so i know exactly how long certain things take and even when you're busy i know how long and by what time like a you know item should be done and so we're gonna see how exactly long this place takes so this is a review about the chicken which i wanted to get something with chicken in it and it said got the same poor quality today it's so disappointing that this location has become a hit or miss. I used to love it, but now the chicken is very dry and tough and the pieces are small and heavily breaded. There isn't much meat inside. What happened? And then they showed just some pictures of the chicken. It honestly doesn't really look that bad, but I can see what they're saying where it just looks like there's so much bread in it. There's not a lot of chicken. So we're definitely going to get a chicken um, type of dish to see. Looking at all the reviews, because there is so many reviews on this restaurant, over 200, there's a lot of complaints. There's some good one. There's like one good good one and then like a million bad ones and then like one kind of sort of good one and then like a million bad ones but yeah guys that is basically it for um the reviews now we're going to head on to the restaurant and see if it is as bad as everyone is saying and then at the very, very end of this video i'll give you a full-on review let's go hi you guys so we are almost there um we kind of like passed it so we had to turn around it took my dad forever to get ready because like he's obsessed with himself and so he always has to look his best do you feel like you look your best right now? Yeah, about 90%. Oh, okay, about 90%. So, so no bad comments, please. <laughs> I know I'm having an off day. Yeah, we're gonna go in right now. Here we are, Payway Fresh Kitchen. Let's go. What's up, guys? So we are officially here. We just ordered. So you basically order at the front, and then you can either sit inside or outside. Inside was playing music, so we're sitting outside. And I also just met a subscriber. She um took my order so hello but first little impressions whenever we picked up the plates because they have this little section where you get your drinks and then you get your little chopsticks which you know I love chopsticks me and Lizzie both love chopsticks 
and you get like your silverware and all that stuff and Lizzie recorded on her phone which I'll like insert the clip because I don't want to pull up my camera because um yeah just was I was feeling weird and so Lizzie pulled like the plates and saw that there was like some like dirtiness on the plate so you guys will see that so now we're going to check these they're not like bad but like they definitely could be like polished. Like at the restaurant that I worked at before they handed out silverware or like put it out to where like, you know, it would be on the floor. They would take a little. Thank, yeah, you. thank you. They would like um, polish it and all that stuff. But this is our crab little wontons. These could be polished. These could be polished. They're not dirty, but like look on the back this would be considered dirty to a lot of people. Um, the knives are definitely a lot more like dirtier than the forks. First thing that I have to say, this literally came out so quick. We ordered probably like five minutes ago. And so I don't know if people just come at a very, very busy time because it's really not that busy. There's probably a total of like 12 customers inside. So I'm gonna show you guys what the food looks like to give an overview. We got three different chicken because people complained about the chicken the most and so I wanted to see, you know, like is the chicken really that bad? But um, I'm kind of like a fat bitch and I love chicken so we'll see what I think of it. So uh, this is what the food looks like. We got crab wontons. This is teriyaki chicken. That does not look like teriyaki chicken to me. Does that look like teriyaki chicken to you? No. Um, this is the orange chicken and then this is the lo mein, which I really love lo mein, but like this kind of does look really rubbery. So, um, what are your thoughts, Dad? That's your, that's your piece right there. Thank you. You eat that. <laughs> no, thank you. You want to throw it off the wall, see if it comes back at us? <laughs> let me do it, let me do it. Your initial thoughts. Are you excited? Yeah, I'm stoked. So stoked. What do you feel like? Oh, this looks great. <laughs> Here's our plates. I got a red dot on mine. Oh. Here's a dirty plate, guys. Do you see that? The red spot? Oh, shit. Wait. I was already in my YouTube video. And I'm a star already, so I need my sunglasses. <laughs> oh. So for everyone that says what I mean, um, I took the dirty plates, so. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna try is, I think we should try orange chicken. I don't really care for orange chicken, but we're going to try it, you guys. Mm -hmm. Okay, you Nimrod. <laughs> this ain't good. Okay, there's chicken in that. It's kind of spicy. It really tastes like oranges. Pretty decent. Yeah, it is kind of a little spicy. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to try this right here, which is supposed to be teriyaki chicken, but like, I don't know if I've ever eaten a sesame seed and I'm kind of scared. This food was like no chicken, all breading. Yeah, it didn't taste like chicken at all. I don't know what that tastes like. I don't think I like it. Tastes like sauce. I gotta try it again. It tastes like sauce. All you taste is sauce. Looks like a glob of sauce. Those are gross. These are? Mm -hmm. Try it. <laughs> it's so nasty. The bean's not bad. I mean, it tastes like, but yeah, it is like really saucy though. It tastes like dirt. But did you just drop it? <laughs> All of it. Oh my god. The whole thing. I feel like the Wizard of Oz is about to happen. I would probably pass on that. Yeah. I, I, kind of I would not eat this ever again. Like, if I ordered that and you brought it home to me, I'd be pissed off. It's a good thing she doesn't bring you home food. Yeah. Because she's a little brat. <laughs> Y'all always want to know why I complain a lot. <laughs> At least because my dad complains a lot. Now we're going to try the rubber chicken. I eat. No. Looks like that. What do you think? It tastes how raw chicken smells. <laughs> you ever like... Smell raw chicken? <laughs> I taste. love lo mein and this is like tragic. Like what is going on here? Like what the fuck? Yeah, shit's like flying now. Are we like We're in a tornado. Are we like in like a windstorm? Remember when you ate make me eat a dog treat, Trevor? What? Yeah. Do you remember that? You made me eat a dog treat. It was a bacon treat. You said eat it. And I said okay. Okay, when we were younger, because it was bacon. Lizzie would eat the Whatever you told her. <laughs> like, she did not care. I remember one time, um, I gave her a spoonful of ketchup, mustard, mayo, and a, like, cherry treat, like a cherry candy, and she ate it. Because I told her to. Yeah. And is that a hair? These noodles just kind of no taste way. like... Is it? Yeah, a white hair. Oh, God. Ew. Uh, I'm old, but I don't have white hair yet. <laughs> From a one to ten, what is that? Ooh, literally like a one. I'll agree. I don't like that. Next, we're going to try this, but I only got two, so sorry. Two, though. I don't, I don't like what sauce they have. Like it's really Do you want me to try it? Yeah, what is it? it? What's the sauce? This is what it looks like. 
I really love these. Like, just pulled it's apart. Like... Oh, I will not eat that. Do you like it? Give it to Lizzie. She'll eat anything. Yeah, I know, I know. Right. So now we're going to rate everything. So the first thing that we have is this. What do you guys give it? One out of ten. I'll be giving it a two. It'd be nice. Okay. No. So what? A one. Okay. A zero. Point Just five. A no. Point five. I okay. I would do it because of the chicken. It looks rubbery. Yeah, no, the chicken, like, out of everything, I, I bet you all the rest of this chicken would look disgusting if it did not have sauce on it, but because this has no sauce, like, that's gross. Me and Lizzie, like, out of anyone would know our chicken. Like, we love chicken, so. We know our chicken. This is a no-go from me. Next thing that we have is the orange chicken, which she's plated pretty cutely. So what would you rate this? It's not bad. Like a five? Five. I kind of liked it. I feel like six-ish. You like the plate color? Yeah, I love that. Yeah, part. it looks like an Easter it's, egg. Yeah, it looks like an egg. It's really cute. What do you rate this? That shit was honestly disgusting. Negative 12. Great. So I'm gonna, I have to go like, I'll do half. I'll do like three because it's better three. than the rubber chicken, but it doesn't even taste like chicken. I don't know what it tastes like. What it, it tastes like sauce. Is Ew, what that is. I don't That's know what it tastes like. I would give this probably like a, a four. Also, the wontons, which we ate, what do you guys rate those? I literally give those like a zero. They're not used, well, it's not what I'm used to. Yeah. So if you get crab puffs, you're used to that when you come here. You're not, not gonna like that. I mean, I don't know, you might like it. But this even, is my personal opinion. I would rather have opinion Express. Our personal opinion. Yeah, it might not be yours. You might not agree with so us. So if y'all wanna come for us, and be like, oh, you're come so for me, mean. Bitches. Come for me, bitches, come for me. You're so mean, like, this come is our me, personal bored. opinion. No, literally, come for me, I'm, <laughs> I'm bored. bored. Guys, these are the bathrooms where the only people in here love that for us. Um, they're not bad at all. Like, they're really not that bad. Like, a little cute moment. And this is my outfit today. I'm wearing this shirt with these little biker shorts because I want to be comfortable. Um, me and Lizzie's new summer outfits are going to be shirts with biker shorts. So we're going to the mall, mall tomorrow. It really is not that bad. The floor is a little dirty with just this. But the toilets... The toilet paper and all that stuff is stocked. That is not stocked, so that's annoying. Like, I love using those, so that's a little annoying that that's not stocked, but like, the bathrooms just are not bad. This one is stocked, though. The other one's just not. But, um, yeah, they're literally not bad at all. Like, the walls are clean, the ceiling is clean, the lights are clean. Could you imagine if somebody walked in right now? <laughs> yeah, no, it's literally not bad at all. So, the only thing is this just has toilet paper shoved in it. Someone messed up the thing so there's toilet paper so if that toilet paper falls out oh, someone's peeking on you but this one, this one is still she is intact okay you guys so we're gonna make our final review very very quickly um because we turned the air conditioning off and like it's about to get like really, really hot in here so overall my experience with this place we're gonna do it in categories we're gonna do the food and then we're gonna do like cleanliness and then service one out of ten for the food overall Five. Yeah. It was, five. It was, the food was like the worst part about it. I feel like, yeah, five. Five. So, cleanliness, what would you give it? Typical. So, a number. Um, I don't know. Like a one out of ten. Like, what would you rate it? Like, ten being the greatest, one being the worst. It was just the plates that were dirty, right? Yeah, it was just the plates. I think, yeah. So, I'd say it's pretty good. Yeah, it's like a There's seven. There's spots on the silverware, but. That's like mm. kind of like normal. We're at a fast food place. Yeah, so I gave it about like seven or eight for like cleanliness. Yeah. And then we also went to the bathrooms and the bathrooms were not bad at all as you guys saw in the clips. Like they're actually really, really nice. There's a lot of bathrooms that I feel like people go to the worst reviewed restaurants and the bathrooms are freaking disgusting. But this place, like they were all well stocked and everything was really, yeah. really nice about it. Customer service, um, I would give them like 10 out of 10. Yeah. Because yeah. they were very, very nice, had no problems. The service was extremely quick, which everyone complained about. Nice. And so I thought we were literally gonna sit here for over an hour filming this video but it literally took us 25 minutes like 20 less than 25 minutes so yeah that is basically our final review for this um i hope that you guys enjoyed this video let me know in the comments down below if you guys want more videos um like this because i'm thinking about doing that i'm also going to vegas next month and so i kind of wanted to film like two worst reviewed videos in vegas as like a vegas you know edition or whatever so if you guys want me to do that let me know in the comments down below um i'll have elizabeth's social media in the comments as well as my dad's because he has an instagram and he wants you guys to all go follow him on instagram Instagram. He wants to become Instagram famous. Get him but in. don't forget to click the subscribe button if you guys are new to my channel and click that little bell if you guys um, want to be notified, you know, when I post videos and stuff. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat um, if you guys want to see what I'm doing with my life when I'm not posting videos. Um, I'm trying to become very, very active on those social medias. I love you guys <laughs> so much and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye guys. <laughs>